Easy Food, Ireland's number one food magazine. Proud sponsor of Saturday AM Cookery. Now, earlier on, Simon and Anna tucked into a homemade burger inspired by Science Week, and now it's time for us and our dessert. Any, no? We've got dessert now. Uh, Louise Lennox from Food Oppy has stayed with us. We're doing ice cream, but with a sciencey twist, Louise. We are doing liquid nitrogen ice cream, Whoa. one of the coldest liquids on the planet. I'm going to get straight into it, and I'll talk you through everything. So I'm making banoffee ice cream because myself and my little friend on the couch, Simon, we did the restaurant years ago together, oh, and he's banoffee crazy. So this is called Simon's Liquid Nitrogen Ice Cream. Um, now you might think, did you really buy he's those everything bananas? Everything crazy, though, in fairness. Yeah, well, you know what? Actually, and when we were doing the restaurant together. My eyelashes fell off because I was laughing so much. The tears made them come off. <laughs> He's my, sometimes my a little bit funny, my you know? My eyelashes fall off every Saturday morning. I'm surprised this is one of his favourites because he doesn't like fruit. Ultimate favourites. Well, you see, Makes banana, an exception. Ba banana, banana wouldn't really That's be one of his Did fruits. you buy How is that that So, bad? what I did was I roast them. I wanted to bring out more of the flavour. So, you'd normally get them and kind of like wait for them to go a little bit brown to kind of release more of the flavours, the natural sugars. But I put these in the oven and I know you're uh, thinking they look a bit gross. I but they pack they were just a punch. Gone off. No, no, they pack a really nice punch of flavour. Right. What I have here is called malic acid. This comes from apples. It would be really kind of a uh, uh, potent flavour in, say, um, rhubarb. And what it does is it brings out more of the fruit flavour and it also <laughs> makes you create more saliva. The more saliva you create, the better the food tastes. Uh, really? It's going to blend, yeah, because you, um, for flavours to actually dissolve in your tongue, you need saliva. And mm. the more saliva you have, the more of the chemicals get dissolved and you're going, it's amazing. It's even a mouthwash. That's so how good it is. So literally mouthwatering. Literally mouthwatering, yeah. This is a safety actually thing. I have this for my son, so every so often it goes off and I keep going, is it broken? But it's not, it's really good. So you can leave it plugged in. Now, that's the bananas. Then this is really, really quick. So this is condensed milk. So normally if you're making an ice cream, you have to make a custard and yeah. let it cool and not with this, you don't. And it's great. So for any children or any adults that have um, egg allergies, you can use this ice cream. So I'm just going to give that a little mix around. And you just pop some double, double cream Double cream there, yeah. and condensed milk. And then some vanilla for an extra bit of flavour. And then in all true Banoffee style, I'm just going to throw in a few biscuits. Now normally what you do is you shove this in the freezer overnight and you get a nice ice cream. Because mm. I make this with condensed milk, you don't actually have to, um, you don't have to put in an ice cream machine. Now, safety first guys. Get the goggles on. We need the goggles on. Okay. Right. So liquid nitrogen is minus 196 degrees. Right. It is safe to put in ice cream because it's a gas. It's not an actual liquid. 78% uh, of the air we breathe has got nitrogen in it. So it is all around us. We just don't realise. But if you got some of that in your eye, we're going to be running off to the Eye and Ear Hospital fairly right. soon. Left as well. You'd be one, yeah. you'd be one eye down. I'll tell you one thing. Th th there'd be no watching any matches later on. Okay. So I'm going to put this on. Goggles down, OK? Yeah. And then... What I'm going to do is just put this on to mix. Yeah. And what you're going to see now is liquid nitrogen. And it's going to create a fierce big bit of smoke coming out. And how much are you going to put in, Louise? I'm going to add it in stages. So what's happening is the custard is so warm. Dude, so it's, it's reacting It's reacting with the custard and it's creating an instant gas. So although it looks like liquid, it's actually gas. You, so if you put your fingers in it, you can actually dip them in really fast and they don't fall off. It's one of my tricks I'm going to be showing the night of the sugar for it. Is that like dry ice? No, no, so dry ice is um, carbon dioxide. So it would actually make ice cream a bit fizzy, which would be a bit strange. So now let me just see this. Try. Yeah, I'm going to let that go down. I've got another little bit of science to show you over oh, here. Yeah. Well, that's maybe We need the glasses to keep them on. Um, do you know what, for where you're standing, yes, because I don't want anyone to be uh, injured today. Suit you. But I'll put that on just, and <laughs> you literally let that go until all of the steam goes. So what I have here is chocolate, hot chocolate. Yum, yum, yum. So it's how you'd normally make um, chocolates. Yeah. And what I'm putting it into here is a little sodium alginate bath. So I've got cream in the chocolate, yeah. which has got uh, milk in it. Sodium alginate is in lots and lots of food, and it's a brown seaweed, and it reacts with anything that has got um, calcium in it. So calcium is in cream. And what it's going to do, it's going to form a little bit of a gel capsulate around it. Ah. So think of what an egg yolk is like. Very, very similar. You leave that in for two minutes, 
and then in two minutes' time, I'm going to take out the most amazing chocolate. So you'll have a little that bubble first. of to chocolate that can you once eat you that open it. Having put it into yeah, it. you can. When we when I did the wrestling this year at Margaret Pierre White, he was speechless after he ate it. He wants to know what the magic was. And I was like, come into the kitchen, and I'll show more you the more tricks. Sort of high end chefs. So intriguing. We've seen the Heston Blumenthal stuff, but are more and more kind of high end chefs using this kind of sciencey angle and to do these crazy bit. weird things. This has been around for years. Agnes Marshall, female, was the first person to actually discover you could make liquid nitrogen with ice cream, and that was back in the 1800s. So it's been around for a very long time. Heston, our side of the water, made it really, really famous and popular. It's a great ingredient to work with. I mean, I love it. You can do so many great tricks. I'm going to show you another one now. This is a really busy week for you. Can you tell us about uh, your involvement in science yes. week and the eat your My, self Well, I had, this, I had this great idea. I was like, do you know what we should do? We should do road shows. So we're going into schools and community centres this week. We're in the convention centre on Saturday, food off myself and Ashley Larkin. And then my first ever live show that I'm really, really stressed about is going to be in the Sugar Club. This, you're going to actually, everyone that comes is going to have liquid nitrogen ice cream. Oh, so yum. Thing. You can't yeah. have a burger and What's not have not dessert. Like? What's not to like? Now, the next fun part that what I'm doing mm, is I'm going to actually put it in here. Now you're thinking, why isn't this polystyrene cup disintegrating yeah. under this heat? Polystyrene is an insulator. You get tea and polystyrene. It also doesn't get affected by the coldness of it. You'll see instant frost coming. But I'm going to put a few meringues in here. And we're literally going to roast the meringues in the liquid nitrogen. Okay? So what's going to happen is we're going to do dragon's breath. Have you ever heard of that? No. Breathe like a dragon, okay? So I'm going to just take That's this out now. bubbling there. Yeah, because it's boiling. So the way water boils at 100 I'm degrees. Confused. I'm confused. It's not supposed to be freezing. It is freezing, but because yeah. it's so warm, the minute it hits anything that's above a minus 196 degrees, it starts to boil. Oh, okay. Now, Science pop that into your mouth. Pop it into my mouth. Yeah, keep it between your teeth. Look, I'll show you. You try first, Laura. <gasps> okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> need a bit more. Hold on. That's so cool. We need more liquid nitrogen. So what you do is you blow and you breathe, and I've got a little bit of edible perfume here as well. And it's definitely edible. The perfume you or the liquid just... nitrogen? Oh yeah, yeah, it's totally edible. Well, it's not edible. You, you would now when I when I say it's not edible, yeah. I wouldn't recommend. You would never take a shot of it. Never, ever, ever. Okay. And you put it in here and you make sure it's all it's evaporated. Not. It's starting to evaporate into a little um, bit of steam here. Okay, so we can pop your fingers in there, put it between your teeth, and you bite and you blow. See. Bite and blow. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, it looks good. Now, mm. I'm just going to get the chocolate out of here. Matt, um, edible perfume. That's yeah. so cool. Mm. And so I'm just going to make this little capsulation here and I'm going to bring it over and we're Order going to this. build up everything. Here, smell that. Can I? Yeah, yeah you can, can eat it. it. Yeah. yeah, lick. <laughs> so we're, we're oh, all about God. the fruit at the moment. So I've got a little bit of the ice cream here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this in to this glass here. Okay. Now, what I also have is a little test tube of caramel sauce, because Simon's there going, you can't have enough. So you know, that would be the consistency of ice cream already, just after spinning around there. And yeah, if you want it harder, you keep going more and more. This is um, melted chocolate, and it's called tabioki multidextrin. You put it in, and it's it turns... Tabi <laughs> tabioki multidextrin. This is oh. no stuff and what is that? You, you, it, it absorbs oil, so... Chocolate has natural cocoa butter oil in it, and it turns yeah. it into um, a powder. We have to break into a lab to do these recipes today. <laughs> my my <laughs> kitchen at home is a lab. Mm. It is a lab, and a little bit more. My this... brother's actually a scientist. And he he did uh, liquid nitrogen ice cream once. And you see, all food, all food is a bit of science as well. Um, I have to just tell you, if anyone wants to come down to my event, it's in the Sugar Club, the 21st of November. Live my show. husband is having an event. I'm so stressed. I barely see him. He's all over the science of horror films it's as well. It's a family affair. Can we it's just a... ask, why, Simon, are you getting yeah, to sorry. nosh on the ice cream well, and the burger? Sorry, sorry, I'm just going to give a little bit of edible perfume, because this was made for Simon, so he kind of claims ownership. Uh, here's, yeah. a little, here's a little nitro um, meringue on top of it there. And I'm going to give you a little spoon. A little spoon. A little spoon? Yeah. yeah. And, oh, good woman. Nearly forgot my little spear as well. Yeah, so you're going to burst there. this, okay? You have to burst this, Simon. You watch it. Yeah. All yeah, the yeah, science acts at yeah. you, okay? Yeah. <laughs> just, so it's self, it's self saucing. It's self saucing. And don't forget all of the in. recipes from today <gasps> are on our website Love. if you want to play scientist at home. No. Although you can't get liquid nitrogen in the shops. Do you can't. Can have a taste yeah. Okay, okay well, there you go. So you'll come this morning. We're going to be practicing oh. our penalties, would you believe? Come on, Ireland. Oh. Mm. Thanks, Louise. I'm that just going to show you how pop seat. Pop. That's amazing. Oh, that wow. is that unreal. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Easy Food, Ireland's number one food magazine. Now available in all good news agents.